I can't compete with that energy, but I can build on it. So I hope you're all juiced for a great evening. Welcome back to many of you, and welcome to those of you who are here for the first time. It was a remarkable day, um, equally energizing and exhausting, uh, and we're delighted that you joined us tonight to celebrate. Mostly, tonight is about saying thank you. Because of the bold, innovative leadership from Sean Donovan and Anna Tibajuka, because of the gallant effort from HUD and UN Habitat, Today, the United States hosted World Habitat Day for the very first time, and we are really thrilled. This was one small step toward elevated awareness of global urban challenges and opportunities, but it was another giant leap towards the United States reclaiming its leadership role in doing the elevating. It was another historic gathering in this spectacular hall and museum. This afternoon, several of us toured the exhibits upstairs, and I commend so many of them to those of you who didn't have a chance. One that we saw was a greening um, of America and the World Project and all of the issues about reclamation of land and urban problems and solutions that are dramatic and creative. Another was Jonas Bendixson's photographic exploration, The Place We Live, uh, and it is simply breathtaking, and both of these really reinforce all of the issues that World Habitat Day is accentuating. We all know that the interconnected forces of globalization and urbanization together are mobilizing a worldwide demographic rev revolution. It's driving the majority of people into cities and metropolitan regions for the first time in history. As I said this morning, and I promise I will not review my entire speech, but just let me say one of the things that we positioned in, in really counterpoint um, this morning was that we face a decision. Either we watch as the world transforms around us, continuing to deplete natural resources and fueling the spread of disease and possible pandemics, undermining future economic growth and certainly jeopardizing national security. These would be one pole, or we lead by developing and spreading innovative collaborative responses. It is wonderful for us in America that the Obama administration has chosen the latter, and this is the case in no small measure because it's guided by the woman I am now pleased to introduce. The Honorable Valerie Jarrett, holds the official title of White House Senior Advisor and Assistant to the President, but she is unofficially known as the President's conscience, his counsel, and his consigliere in chief. Valerie served the city of Chicago for a decade as Deputy Chief of Staff to Mayor Richard Daley, Planning Commissioner, and Chairwoman of the Chicago Transit Authority. In 1995, she became CEO of the Habitat Company, which develops and manages residential properties, including public and affordable housing. And then, in 2007, she took a leave of absence to help her friend, then an Illinois senator, set steady a small startup project, which was based in Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina. Maybe she can tell us how it turned out. Please welcome the Honorable Valerie Jarrett.